How do we solve a question like this in complex numbers? The area of a triangle is asked and we have been given complex numbers z, i, z and z plus i, z. The most common way to solve this is to start by writing z is equal to x plus i, y. Using this, we can find the vertices of the triangle. After that, we can find the length of each side. And then, of course, we can find the area of that right angle triangle. So, if you see, it takes us easily three minutes to solve the question using this approach. But if you know three simple facts and complex numbers, you can solve this question in 10 seconds. Fact 1. Modulus of z is just the distance of z from the origin. So, if you pick a point here, this distance is what modulus z represents. Fact 2. Multiplying a complex number z by i simply means that you are turning that z vector by 90 degrees. If I pick this point, let us call this point as phi on the x-axis. If I multiply phi by i, I am turning this arrow by 90 degrees. This point is 5i and this is 90 degrees. If I take 5i and multiply by i, that means I am turning it by another 90 degrees. So, this is also 90 degrees and this point would be 5i square. And if I multiply again by i, I will get 5i cube and I will basically be turning it by a third 90 degree. And again, if I multiply by i, that means I turn this by further 90 degrees. So, 5i power 4. Of course, you know i power 4 is 1. So, basically, we are, we are back where we started. But this is not only true for points on the x-axis. It is true for any point z. So, if I pick a point here z and I multiply z by i, i z will basically be 90 degree turn of this vector. So, this point is i z. Now, you know that this is modulus z and this should be modulus of i z, right? This length should be modulus of i z. But how did I get i z from z? All I did was to turn this around. So, the length would not have changed. So, what is modulus of i z? It must be equal to modulus of z. So, we now know that whenever you multiply any complex number by i, all you are doing is to turn that arrow by 90 degrees. Let us now look at fact 3. When you are adding complex numbers z1 plus z2, it is the same as a vector sum. Like the triangle law for vectors, we can do the same thing with complex numbers. So, if I talk about one complex number z1 here, this one, and another complex number z2, and I want to do z1 plus z2, move z2 such that you get the tail of z2 to the head of z1. So, this is z2 z1 plus z2 is this arrow. Okay, So, this point here is z1 plus z2. So, how do you do z1 plus z2? Shift z2 and add it like usually you add with vectors. Using these three facts, we can immediately solve the problem that we started out with in just 10 seconds. So, let us now use the three facts to solve this question in 10 seconds. We want to find the area of the triangle and the complex numbers are z, i, z and z plus i, z. So, let me say that this point was z. What is i, z? It will be a 90 degree turn, right? So, this is i, z and this would be 90 degrees. You know that this length is modulus of z. This length is also modulus of z. And here I want to find z plus i, z. For that, I will move i, z that way. So, this is z plus i z and so this is z plus i z. So, we want a triangle formed by z, i z and z plus i z. Well, what do we want then? We want to find this triangle. But that triangle's area is exactly half of this square's area. But what is the square's area? Modulus z square. So, the area of the triangle, area of the triangle is half of modulus z square. So, you can see how these three facts are very useful in solving problems really quickly.